so this will probably be my last installment on final setup and assembly and upgrades for now for my CO2 100 watt laser which really is probably in about a 90 watt um, so basically I upgraded the stock um, cooling system from a fish tank pump and tub to a CW 5000 SNA chiller I, I opted to go this route because my shop is in a garage and it gets pretty cold here and pretty hot here depending on the season. So I need something to you know better regulate the flow and the temperature. I also upgraded to a milliamp meter in the analog. And this unit does have a separate laser power supply with the uh, digital uh, milliamp meter but unfortunately it's tucked away in this side panel which is not very convenient so I opted to install the analog version of bed which works out really well and um, as mentioned in my previous video I upgraded to the AC Infinity 6 um, this is the control panel for I mounted it right to the front for easy access that way I can control the air movement on the fly if I needed to depending on whatever job was running so that works out well and it's super quiet the air assist I replaced the little internal pump that they provide in this machine it wasn't powerful enough and I just couldn't control it so I opted to go with an external compressor this one I picked up at Harbor Freight it's a Fortress, one gallon, 135 PSI, half horsepower um, unit. And if I had to do it again, I would get the mix size up. It works really well, it's super quiet. Uh, the problem is it just can't keep up with the capacity of the tank and the, uh, the volume at which it fills the tank is um, little. So it keeps up with like right now I'm engraving, so I have very little airflow, so it will keep up with that and it kicks on periodically, but if I was cutting or something of that nature and it had high volume, it just would continuously run. And I'm not sure if these meet, um, these units are built for continuous use, but we'll see. But so far I'm very pleased, it's super quiet. I also added a uh, regulator um, in line with it, so I can once again uh, adjust on the fly if needed so that works out well and I just mounted it to the side with a couple of screws um, if you remember in my last video I removed the stock exhaust fan that was on this side that was built in um, it, the fan just was not strong enough so I removed it and added the AC infinity but I also put this uh, which is another upgrade I put this elbow in line with it to get a better angle um, that way there was nothing, no pinching going on and it actually gives me a little bit more room by doing it that way So I added a, a pipe clamp and some for good measure some duct tape works out well That fan that I removed I installed right here And what I did was I drilled a series of ventilation holes to bring in the fresh air And I have a little switch here mounted so I can control that on and off and the, the idea is for the airflow, in, in addition to the exhaust, to um, have an airflow go across the bed that way and bring it to the exhaust. It works out really well, especially for engraving. Um, you know, I find, and I've read a lot of forms that, you know, when you're engraving, you want very little airflow um, so it doesn't blow the residue back on the piece. And with this cross ventilation, it actually helps with the extraction of um, the smoke. So um, I've seen that in one other video. I, I don't know how common it is, but I figured I had the fan. Let me try it, and it works out well. So, so I've run about 20 or 30 engravings and a few cutting jobs on here, and I'm super pleased with it. Um, realize that I still have a lot to learn, so um, I will definitely keep posting. Uh, future videos on uh, content involving laser cutting and uh, CNCing. So keep watching and subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks.